Hi, this is Rob Beardsley with Lone Star Capital. Today I want to make a quick video about DSCR, debt service coverage ratios. So there is some misunderstanding about DSCR uh, and, and the biggest thing is surrounding amortization. So the confusion comes in where if your loan is interest only, uh, whether it be for the first couple years or even full term IO, you know, do you need to factor in amortization in your debt service coverage ratio calculation? And the answer is yes, absolutely. So the way that banks underwrite uh, deals and, and, and size them to determine the appropriate amount of proceeds to give on a loan is two ways. They look at a valuation constraint as well as a cash flow constraint. So on the valuation side, lenders are looking at LTVs, uh, LTCs, as well, and, and for going in on a going in basis as well as as stabilized, especially in a bridge loan scenario. And then on the cash flow side, they're looking at a DSCR and a debt yield. So focusing on DSCR, a lender's looking at uh, your NOI divided by amortized debt service to determine the DSCR. And typically they're seeking a 1.25 DSCR. And so what that means is your net operating income is 125% of your amortized debt service. So uh, to put that into perspective, if you are amortizing, meaning you're, you're paying both principal and interest on the loan, uh, no interest only, at a 1.25 DSCR, your NOI could withstand a 20% decline um, until you hit cash flow break even, where your NOI now equals uh, your debt service, uh, amortized debt service. So oftentimes I see on a pro forma or, or you know, on a deal that's being pitched, uh, you know, the sponsor will say, this deal is really low risk, it's really safe because you know, look at our going in DSCR. Our going in DSCR is north of two, right? It's over 2.0, uh, but they're only factoring in interest only. And what's interesting about interest only versus amortization in today's market is the fact that rates are so low that the difference of the debt constant, which is literally your, your debt service divided by the outstanding principal, principal on, the, on the debt. Um, so if you're amortizing, the debt constant actually is a, just a percentage of you know, P&I divided by the principal, uh, which if you have, for example, a 3% mortgage, you're obviously, your debt constant is 3% when you're paying interest only. But then once you begin amortizing, that 3% is going to ratchet up to five and a half percent on a debt constant basis. So as interest rates get lower and lower, as they have, when amortization kicks in, it just becomes that much more shocking because the difference between your interest only payment and your P&I payment just gets bigger and bigger. Meanwhile, if you have, let's say, you know, six percent interest rate, when you start amortizing, that's only going to go up to seven and a half percent, which is a far smaller percentage increase than going from three to five and a half, which is you know nearly double. So, just when you're underwriting, make sure that you're factoring in uh, you know amortized uh, debt service in your DSCR calculations to make sure that you're you know sizing deals appropriately.